Hello students, welcome to the e-learning platform presented by Mechanical Engineering Department of Dr. Bapuji Saroke Institute of Engineering and Technology, Kolhapur. Let me first introduce myself. I am Mr. Anis Ahmad Nadaf. I am going to teach you the subject of power engineering and refrigeration for this semester. For the teaching and examination scheme, we know that in I scheme, the theory paper consists of 70 mark that is THESE end semester examination and 30 marks for progressive assessment that is the marks combined of both class test and your micro project. In this power engineering and refrigeration subject, we have external practical end semester examination which is of 25 marks and practical progressive assessment of 25 marks total 150 marks are allotted for this subject the course outcomes that we are going to learn during this subject or during this completion of this course will be number one identify different components of ic engine and its auxiliaries different components of internal combustion engine will be studied and its auxiliaries or supporting system will also be studied second test the performance of ic engine ic engine is tested by various performance parameters these parameters will be studied in this third maintain reciprocating air compressor compressors will be studied types of compressor and how to maintain air compressors will be studied fourth identify different components of gas turbine and jet engines section related to turbines and jet engines will be studied in this and last test performance of refrigeration and air conditioning system refrigeration and air conditioning system will be studied in this course let us see the topics covered in this course number one is internal combustion engine which consists of 16 marks in this chapter we are going to learn different types of engines and various performance related to engine and cycles second chapter is testing of ic engine and emission control it is also for 16 marks in this chapter we are going to learn the different methods for testing ic engine and methods to control the emission third is air compressor this chapter consists of 14 marks in this we are going to study different types of air compressors and the performance parameters regarding the compressors fourth is gas turbine and jet propulsion it carries off eight marks in this we are going to learn different types of turbine and jet engines and last is refrigeration and air conditioning which again carries 16 marks and in this chapter we are going to study different refrigeration and air conditioning system the power engineering and refrigeration subject has a vast syllabus and is a very important subject in this field let us start with the first topic internal combustion engine which consists of 16 marks the learning objective for today's session will be number one study the components of ic engine various components that are grouped together to perform as ic engine will be studied second study of different engine terminologies terminologies regarding the engine will be studied third study the different types of engines that is si spark ignition and ci compression ignition engine will be studied unit number one internal combustion engine in early ages when man discovered fire and used it in the form of heat energy he started it to use for various purposes the device which uses chemical energy of fuel to convert it into thermal energy to perform useful work is known as heat engine 
the basic purpose of an engine is to generate the power the engine in which combustion of fuel takes place inside a cylinder is known as internal combustion engine in internal combustion engine the working fluid is the product of combustion of air fuel mixture the term combustion is defined as process of rapid chemical combination of hydrogen and carbon in the fuel with the oxygen in air resulting in liberation of heat energy that is combustion means mixture of fuel and air to produce heat heat engine is basically classified into two types number one is ic engine that is internal combustion engine and second is ec engine that is external combustion engine again ic engine is divided into further two types one is rotary engine and second is reciprocating engine depending upon the motion of the cylinder and piston uh, the engine is classified as rotary engine and reciprocating engine the example of rotary engine is bankel engine next for reciprocating engine there are again two types of engine number one is si engine that is spark ignition engine and next is ci engine that is compression ignition engine ec engine or external combustion engine is also again classified as reciprocating engine and rotary engine ec engine is which in which the combustion of fuel takes place outside so it is called as external combustion engine the reciprocating engine is example is steam engine steam engine that is used in steam railways and rotary engine example is steam turbine let us start with engine components the figure shows spark ignition engine single cylinder spark ignition engine its main components are described as number 1 is the cylinder block cylinder block is the main supporting structure of various components the various components engine components are fitted and supported by cylinder block next is the cylinder the cylinder is a cylindrical closed container in which piston travels in reciprocating linear motion the cylinder is supported by the cylinder block at the top end is covered by the cylinder head the space enclosed between the upper part of cylinder and the top of piston during the combustion process is called as combustion chamber next is piston piston is a device that reciprocates inside the cylinder next is connecting rod connecting rod is a device that connects the piston and the crank shaft next is gudgeon pin gudgeon pin is the device used to connect the connecting rod and the piston next is crank shaft the crank shaft converts the reciprocating motion of piston into rotary motion from the crank shaft the output power is de developed and received next is crank crank is nothing but the connecting part of the connecting rod and crank shaft it also has a crank pin which connects the connecting rod and the crank to the crank shaft next is the crank case the crank case is which in which the oil is stored for the lubrication purpose next is inlet manifold the air fuel mixture will enter from the inlet manifold next is inlet valve inlet valve is nothing but the valve which is open when the suction takes place next is exhaust manifold in this exhaust gases will be thrown out and exhaust wall in this or through the opening of exhaust wall the gases will move out from the exhaust manifold 
next point is engine terminologies the different terminologies is are defined as from the figure first we know cylinder and piston first terminology is the top dead center top dead center is nothing but the extreme position of piston at the top of the cylinder the extreme position till which the piston can travel at the top of the cylinder is called as top dead center next is bottom dead center the extreme position of piston at the bottom of the cylinder is called as bottom dead center next is stroke stroke is nothing but the maximum distance traveled by piston in the cylinder in one direction and is equal to twice the crank radius next is the bore bore or cylinder bore cylinder bore is the internal diameter of cylinder and it is denoted by d small d next is clearance volume clearance volume is the volume contain above the top of piston and below cylinder head when piston is at tdc the volume when the piston is at tdc and to the top of the cylinder head is called as clearance volume it is denoted by vc next is swept volume swept volume it is a volume that the piston displaces at displaces as it travels from bdc to tdc it is calculated by comparing cylinder diameter and piston stroke here are some more engine terminologies that we know need to know before moving further number 1 is cylinder volume cylinder volume is nothing but the sum of swept volume and clearance volume cylinder volume is total of swept volume and clearance volume second is compression ratio compression ratio is ratio of volume before compression to volume after compression compression ratio is a ratio of maximum cylinder volume before compression to maximum cylinder volume after compression it is also be also be explained as cr is equal to vs plus vc upon vc that is total cylinder volume upon clearance volume the compression ratio varies from 5 is to 1 to 10 is to 1 for petrol engine and from 12 is to 1 to 22 is to 1 for diesel engine third is expansion ratio expansion ratio is the ratio of volume after expansion to the volume before expansion fourth is cut off ratio cut off ratio is defined as ratio of volume at the end of heat supplied to the volume before heat supplied and last is piston speed piston speed is defined as distance travel by the piston in 1 minute it is measured in meter per minute the formula for measuring piston speed is 2 times length into n 2 ln and it is measured in meter per minute let us quickly summarize what we have learned in today's session number 1 teaching scheme for i scheme we know that there is 70 30 scheme that is 70 marks written paper and 30 marks for your class test marks and micro project marks 25 marks for practical examination which is going to be external and 25 marks for practical progressive assessment the subject is of what totally 150 marks second is course outcomes the course outcome for this subject has been discussed in this session third total unit we know there are total five units and as i said the syllabus is very vast and fourth is introduction to the first unit 
internal combustion engine various engine components and various engine terminologies are studied and discussed hope you like the video thank you